There are so many problems when we talk about narcissistic and emotional abuse. But I think there's one real problem that we've got to talk about. The number one problem with narcissistic and emotional abuse. Hello, I'm Dr. David Hawkins. I'm the director of the Marriage Recovery Center. And of course, we specialize in narcissistic and emotional abuse. And I want to talk to you about the number one complaint that I receive from women who are struggling with narcissistic victim syndrome, narcissistic abuse, emotional abuse. The number one symptom is exhaustion, emotional exhaustion. And when I delve deeply into this topic, what I discover when I sit with a couple and I watch his emotionally abusive behaviors. I watch his blame shifting, his justification, rationalization, playing the victim, all of these defenses so he doesn't have to feel remorse and healthy shame. I watch her energy go down, down, down. I watch her struggle to maintain emotional equilibrium and understandably so because these interactions are difficult. I have said before that one way you can determine whether you're with a crazy maker is if you feel crazy. Everything is difficult. Some some years ago there was a an advertisement with an easy button Women want to push the easy button. Can we just make this interaction easy? Can we just work through this issue in an easy way? Can you please just take responsibility, take ownership, admit wrong, set out to do right, make changes? Can we please, please have an easy interaction. Now, of course that's easier said than done. Okay, so the number one problem with narcissism, there's many, but I think the number one is it creates confusion and, and emotional exhaustion. And so what can a woman do? Here are a couple of things to do. Number one, I want you to pay close attention to yourself. You are the best barometer to know whether something crazy is happening. You're the best barometer to know whether he is shifting the blame, whether he's avoiding responsibility, or whether he's defensive and refusing to take ownership, making excuses and so on. Number one, listen to yourself. Number two, after listening to yourself, really sit quietly away from the conflict and ask yourself, what do I need to do? Many women need a break. They need an hour away from him. They need a day away from him. They need a week away from him. They need a month away from him. Some kind of a break where they tend to themselves and nurture themselves. And they think about, can I set some better boundaries or can I not? Do I need some more support? Do I need some R&R, some rest? And then if you can set boundaries, and sometimes you can, sometimes they are just, these men are simply boundary busters. If you can't, it may be time for a more drastic separation, more drastic consequences, and we will help you do that. All right, so the number one problem with narcissism is the confusion and emotional exhaustion that they create, and you need the easy button. All right, we're happy to help. Marriage Recovery Center. If you like this video, push subscribe. We've got more for you. All right, take care and God bless.